all, all of my athletes are like my children, I guess. Mm-hmm. Kind of how I view them. And so he was, needless to say, like a son for me. Um, mm-hmm. Always happy, always smiling. Uh, even when he was down, you know, I'd make him smile. Like, I, like well, you can't leave me unless you smile or something, you know. And he'll give me a little half smile. And like, all right, I'm good now. See you tomorrow. <laughs> you know. Mm-hmm. So, but no, he... He was probably one of the hardest working athletes I had um, on the track. He was harder on himself than um, than anybody I know. Um, me as a track athlete, I'm kind of, well, not even just as a track athlete, just as a person in general, I'm hard on myself about, you know, just not doing this right or this not turning out the way I want to turn out. And he was that way in practice. Like if he felt like his times weren't what they needed to be, he just, just was like, oh, coach, you know. And I tell him, I said, well, we got to find a positive in it. always have to find something positive to take away from it so that we can move forward for the next race, the next practice, you know, whatever. And so once he got in the routine of doing that, then really didn't get a whole lot of, you know, negative feedback about any of his competitions or practices or whatever from that point on. So um, everybody loved him. I mean, he just, he was just that kind of person. His personality, his character was just infectious. Like, you wanted to be around him. Um, you just, I don't know, he's just a happy kid, you know. Uh, remember that time we went down to uh, Embry-Riddle? Mm-hmm. And this was probably the first time that I've ever seen him, like, live. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, we were on our way back, and you know, we had the music up, you know, and he was singing every song on the radio, <laughs> and, like, one song in particular mm-hmm. I just remember was uh, Paranoid, and um, it's the craziest song in the world. Uh, but every all the kids on campus know the song, and he was just going at it every word he was louder than the music and i was just like is this abraham was like he don't even talk like above a whisper half the time he was just loud right. he was yeah. into it yeah mm-hmm. so it was so cool it was good to just see him like that side of him so you know like i said everybody loved him he just had this effect on people where you just like you wanted to be around him you wanted to be in his company so he left here on monday Know, he just turned back to me like, "Oops, all right, I'm, I'll see you tomorrow." A big smile on his face, and that's that's all I remember. Like I don't remember anything else. Um, well, I remember some other stuff about that day, but that's the last that's the last image that I have of him. And um, I remember when um, one of our um, coworkers over in the in athletics. When she found out, she texted me the same thing, and she was just like, she was like, I'm going to miss the smile. 